The Department of the Interior and Local Government has urged Cebu City Mayor Edgardo Labella to sue former Mayor Tomas Osmeña for stripping the mayor's office of furniture and fixtures last week. Here's Kenneth Torres for the details. Former Cebu City Mayor Tomas Osmeña may face administrative charges before the office of the Ombudsman for stripping his office of furniture and fixtures last Thursday night. Department of Interior and Local Government or DILG Secretary Epimaco Densing urged the new mayor Edgardo Labella to charge Osmeña for destroying government properties and for failing to adhere to the agency's order for proper transition of office. The mayor's office, located at the 8th floor executive building of Cebu City Hall, was stripped of fixtures by about 20 people from a construction firm, according to the area security manager Edgardo Ong and based on CCTV footages. The demolition of Osmeña's office was supervised by the special assistant to the mayor, Raymond Paul Tabuada. Osmeña said, Said he just transformed his office back to its original state. He said his office had no partition back in 2001 and it was a bare concrete. He transformed his office through donations coming from contractors and suppliers when he was first elected as a city mayor in 2001. But the DILG said Osmeña will still be liable for the case if he fails to prove that he paid for the furniture and fixtures. Densing said Osmeña may be charged administratively for failing to comply with a memorandum circular signed by Secretary Eduardo Año on the proper transition of office and might be charged criminally for causing damage to property. La Bella was surprised after he found the office was stripped of its plumbing, electrical systems, ceiling, floor tiles, and furniture. On his first day as Cebu City Mayor, La Bella held office at the vice mayor's as the mayor's office is still not ready for use. Kenneth Torres, Newsbits Tonight.